some shortcuts to find slope and deflection of a beam without actual method of solving. Here I will be discussing only cantilever and simply supported beam because in competitive exams other than this they may not ask you a continuous beam or a frame within the time constraint that is available. Okay, So if the standard case of cantilever and simply supported is given how to get the answers without actually solving now we will see. First I will start with cantilever. Okay, So for cantilever if moment point load UDL and UVL so these are the four major cases that can come if there is a concentrated moment M here you will get a reaction M here the slope is given by ML by EI if there is a point load here we will get the reaction M slope is ML by 2A so if there is a UDL you will get a reaction M and the slope is ML by 3A similarly if there is a UVL you will get reaction M the slope is ML by 4A. So you can see the order ML by EA, 2EA, 3EA, 4EA. Okay, so that is how it is reducing. Even by seeing you can feel that suppose if all the load is concentrated at the end, you will have more slope. Suppose if the load is distributed, then you will have slightly lesser slope. Now more load is going toward that side than this side. So slightly reduces. So you can see the slope is by 2, by 3, by 4. Now, what is the value of moment? If you uh, substitute a m value here, you will get reaction m. So, the answer is ml by ea. If you place a load w, the moment will be w into l. So, the answer is w into l into l. That is a w l square by 2 ea. If you substitute a value w, the reaction will be w l square by 2. So, WL square by 2, substitute WL square by 2 into L divided by 3A. Answer is WL cube by 6A. Similarly, if you have triangular load, then the moment will be the area of the triangle into H by 3 distance. So, that is WL square by 6 into L divided by 4A. That is WL cube by 24A. Okay. So, here you have to remember this order that's all. Concentrated couple, concentrated load, UDL, UVL. Okay. By EA, by 2A, by 3A, by 4A. Substitute the moment value. That's it. Okay. Similarly, if you want to find the deflection at the free end, this is rotation at free end. If you want to find the deflection at free end, then you have to imagine a prop where you are you want to find the deflection, you have to imagine one prop here, prop to cantilever. Whatever the reaction of the prop, prop that comes here, simply substitute that reaction here and divide with 3 EA by L cube. Okay. So I have got this using the concepts of moment distribution uh, and matrices, some matrices methods. By combining 2-3 methods, I have found these shortcuts. So because of time constraint, I cannot explain it here. Once you see my lecture in uh, those methods, you will understand how I have derived all this. Okay. So the reaction of prop divided by 3A by L cube is a standard for cantilever. Okay. So in this case, what will be the reaction of prop if the moment M is substituted at the end of prop to cantilever? You have to know this 3 by 2 M by L divided by 3A by L, L cube gives you ML square by 2 E A. Okay. Similarly, suppose if you uh, substitute a load W if you place a prop here, directly the entire load will go into prop. So the reaction will be nothing but the total load substitute. So that is why reaction of prop divided by 3A by L cube. Reaction of prop is nothing but W. So answer is W L cube by 3A. Next coming to this, if you place a prop here, we know 3 by 8 times of W L comes here and 5 by 8 times of double L will go there. Okay. The standard cases, even suppose if you have a point load at the center, the reaction at this end is 5 by 16 times of W. Reaction at that side will be 11 by 16 times of W. You have to remember the standard cases. Next, similarly, so here 3 by 8 W L. So let us uh, substitute that 3 by 8 W here. So which will give you W L to the power of 4 divided by 
8 e8 okay next case if you imagine a prop here so if you imagine a prop there the reaction will be wl by 10 for a propped cantilever you can check the answer divided by 3a by lq which gives you wl power 4 divided by 30a in this way if you know the reaction of prop you can find the deflection if you find if you know the deflection you can find the reaction of prop without solving okay so if you are if you have remembered the standard reaction values for prop to cantilever you can directly get the deflection just by dividing reaction of prop divided by 3a by lq that's all okay so that is a simple shortcut i can give you if you have any problem in finding the reaction then i have a shortcut to find the reaction of prop without actually solving it okay so if you want that shortcut do comment below i will do a next video to find the reaction without solving it if you are unable to remember that okay so that is how to find the slope and deflection of a cantilever now we will see how we will find slope and deflection of a simply supported beam okay so in simply supported beam suppose if the load is at center so, for finding the slope, always in simply supported, we will be asking slope at the support because because of symmetry, slope at center will be zero, slope at center will be zero, slope at center will be zero. So generally, slope at center will not be asked in SSB. Slope at the support will be asked, and deflection at the center will be asked in most of the cases. Okay. So that is why slope at the support. The standard formula is. Fixed end moment divided by 2a by l. Because we already remember what is fixed end moment in structural analysis. Just to substitute that fixed end moment and divide with 2a by l. That is your answer. Let us see. So if there is a center load, what is the fixed end moment wl by 8? Substitute wl by 8 divided by 2a by l. wl square by 16a is your answer. Similarly, if you have a UDL, what is fixed end moment? WL square by 2 L. Simply substitute WL square by 2 L divided by 2A by L. WL cube by 24A. Similarly, if you have a triangular load like this, fixed end moment will be 5 divided by 96 WL, which will give you 5 by 192 WL cube by EA. So in this way, if you remember fixed end moments, you can get the slope if you know the slope you can find the fixed end moment okay next how to find the deflection at the center so previously i told you to assume a prop where you are finding the deflection and divide with 3a by l cube here you have to find the reaction of prop and divide with 48 ea by l cube okay so forget about the derivation it takes some time for me to explain that so reaction of prop divided by 48 ea divided, ea by l cube okay so in this case first let us see i want to find the deflection at the center so if i imagine a prop here directly the entire load will go into the prop so the reaction will be w so simply i will substitute the reaction value as w so w divided by 48 ea by l cube that is w l cube divided by 48 ea okay next case i want deflection at the center i will substitute a support at the center the reaction for this case is it is a standard case which you have to remember it is 5 by 8 wl substituting 5 by 8 wl reaction we will be getting 5 by 384 wl to the power of 4 by ea and the next case if you have a triangular load then the reaction will be 5 by 4 times of wl you can see compared to this this is double times why because here you can see more load is coming towards the center than here so that is why you will have more reaction and it is double to this 5 by 4 wl so if you simply substitute 5 by 4 wl here we will get wl to the power of 4 divided by 68 so not only for this case so if you want to find reaction for different cases deflection for different cases if you are able to find the reaction at that point for the prop then you can simply divide with 48a divided by l cube okay so in this way without actually solving we can find the answers apart from this if any other loading case comes then how to guess the answer means so suppose 
if I have given the loading case like this. If you get the loading case, reverse to this. Try to guess the answer. Okay, so in exam, suppose if this loading case comes, then how to guess the answer? Let us see. So here, for this loading case, my answer is WL cube by 6EA. For this, I have WL cube by 24EA. So here, when the load is distributed equally, my answer is WL cube by 6EA. But here, more load is coming towards this side, which means that compared to this, my answer will be greater. Means it will be greater than 1 by 6. Now, uh, come to this case. So if you substitute the load W, the entire concentrated load W here, then the answer is 1 by 2. Okay. So without solving anything, I can surely say that my answer is between 1 by 2 and 1 by 6. Like this, without even solving, just if you remember the standard cases, we know for a simply supported at the center. Suppose if the load is shifted here, then I know the standard case. So if they are shifting the load this side, which means that it is coming closer to this side. So this side slope will be more and this side slope will be less. So this side, my answer will be greater than WL square by 16A. That is greater than 1 by 16. That side less than 1 by 16. So like this, by using the standard cases, you can find the answer, you can guess the answers of other cases also. That is the another advantage if you remember all the standard examples. So I will repeat what we have to do again. So cantilever slope ml by a, ml by 2a, ml by 3a, ml by 4a. That is moment, point load, UDL, UVL. Fix. Next coming to uh, coming to reaction at the end. Assume the probe where you are finding the deflection at the free end. Then reaction of the probe divided by 3a by l cube. Okay. So for reaction of probe you have to remember the standard cases so that's all about cantilever coming to simply supported if you want to find the slope at the support find the fixed end moment divide it with 2 ea by l that's all whatever may be the case just fine similarly if you want to find the deflection where you are finding the deflection there assume a uh, prob find the reaction of that prob once you find the reaction of prob, that prob, find the reaction of prob and substitute that reaction, divide it with 48 EA by L cube. Whatever the answer comes, that is your answer for deflection. So in this way, we can solve slope and deflection problems. This covers majority of the problems for competitive exams. I am sure at least 95% of the questions should be falling within these formulas only. Okay, so do remember these formulas if you if you feel slope deflection chapter is a bit difficult and uh, whatever the videos I have made till now they are uh, not copied from any institute materials or from any textbooks these uh, shortcuts are because of uh, years of my research uh, in civil engineering so I, I am maintaining the same quality in each and every video in my website also for uh, each and every topic in every subject so that is why I am unable to produce the videos frequently because I am involved in creating the website creating the app and I am the cameraman lighting editor I am working as a faculty I have to purchase materials for explanation maintaining the office so everything from A to Z I am alone I am single-handedly uh, handling all these things so that is why I am unable to produce frequently so I hope you understand for the students uh, who are preparing for the AWE exam I am placing the link for downloading all the previous AWE AE exams so that you can understand the weightage of uh, how much weightage of uh, Telangana GK and uh, other than Telangana whatever the GK that you have to study and also weightage distribution of civil engineering subjects I have placed all the papers since the starting of TSPSC, so you can have you can go through that to know the distribution of weightage. Thanks for watching.